I love Windows 8, but like most, the old Metro or the new be called Windows 8 desktop interface is not to my liking. Uh, I'm using a program called Classic Shell, which gives me back my old start menu and my desktop and bypasses the old Metro app altogether. Their new and latest version 3.6, which was just released, fully supports the official release of Windows 8. Accept the license. And let's get busy and install it. We're going to skip the readme file. Now that it's installed, let's go through the settings. I prefer this one. Classic start. You noticed the shift and windows key still gets you back to either the start menu, the classic start menu, and we're going to keep it set for the windows start menu, which means the old metro style. That way you still have access to it. There are so many adjustments that you can make in here, it'll make your head spin. I've been very happy with the search uh, feature in Windows 8. It's easy enough to access. Simply use the Windows key and F. If you're on the desktop, it will get you to the search window. Or if you're in the old Metro style or the Windows 8 part, just start typing and automatically you're in the search mode. So that will just leave as is. You can set up different skins. It's going to stay the way it is on mine. Uh, context menu, you can get to it through doing a right click. Here's some customizations for the start menu itself. I'm happy with it just the way it is. We're going to bypass the Metro screen. You can also disable all of the hot corners if that's what you'd like. I have gotten used to them, so they'll stay. Of course, it's available in umpteen different languages. So pick your favorite. Now that I have my settings the way I want them, and I'd like to have them the same way if an update occurs that I don't start all over again, We'll back this thing up. And that should just about wrap up things for Classic Start Menu version 3.6.